OK, I have here two problems. One is an increasing amount, one is a decreasing amount. And it is in these sort of problems that sometimes it's very easy to make a mistake. I want you to think of this. I have £100. My £100 increases by 10%. That clearly will give me £110. Now, if I'd phrased the question that here's £110 and it represents an increase of 10%, what did I start with? The natural tendency is to say £110, oh, it's increased by 10%, take 10% off, 10% of £110 is 11, take off 11, my answer's 99. I told you at the start that I've started with £100, so it's not that straightforward. If an increase of 4% on my population of this village, let's look at this problem, population of village increases by 4%. To this value, what was the original population? It's not just a simple case of work out 4% of this, take it off, and there's my answer. We have introduced and we've had the concept of a multiplier. Perhaps that is our way ahead. So how did I get 3,440? Well, I have my original population... To increase it by 4%, I multiply it by the multiplier of 1.04, which represents 104%, increased by 4%, so 100% is the whole, increased by 4%, makes the multiplier of 1.04, and this comes out to be my answer of 37,440. So let's think now. What's the inverse function of multiplying by 1.04? Well, the opposite of multiplying is to divide. So my original population inverse function 37440 divided by 1.04. Now I go to my calculator. Fortunately, I have one readily to hand to make sure he's turned on. 37440 divided by 1.04 equals, and I get the answer, 36000. So my original population is going to be my finishing population divided by the multiplier. Let's look at my second problem. Divided by the multiplier. Please remember that. In a sale, a jacket is reduced by 40%. So if it's reduced by 40%, what value have I left with? Well, I'm left with 60%. which gives me a multiplier of 0.6. So, pre-sale price times the multiplier equals the sale price of £45. So my pre-sale price Opposite function of multiplying by 0 0.6 is to divide by 0 0.6, 45 pounds divided by 0 0.6. Clearly, I'm expecting the price to be greater than 45. I wouldn't be surprised at that. 45 divided by 0 0.6 equals 75 pounds. That makes sense. Just double checking because clearly my price beforehand, before the sale, will be greater than the sale price. Looks good. So remember, here we divide by the multiplier. Okay, so let's have a look at this one. So solve x plus 2x equals 12. So what do you think you do first? Okay, 
well, I want X on its own, so I would put X equals 12 minus 2X. Okay, so a lot of the time we want to get X by itself, but what we want to do first is get all of these X's together. So can you see anything we can do with this? Get all these together in one place. Oh, okay, it's 3X, isn't it? Yeah, so absolutely. So 3X equals 12. Oh, and so X equals 4. Brilliant, spot on, well done.